How you doing today? Pretty good. Yourself? I'm pretty good. This gentleman Christ, uh, under the Scope Films, and today we'll be interviewing um, Jeff Skaggs. Yes. I'm glad I got that name right, people. <laughs> These computer guys are smart, and they got smart names. But um, today we are uh, gonna let uh, Jeff share his story with us, and we got a few questions to ask him. And um, this is under the Scope Films, and uh, we're about to let you know what's going on. So, uh, Jeff, tell him your full name because. I don't know if I pronounced it right, <laughs> but I want them to hear the correct pronunciation and um, let them know where you're from, first of all. Okay. My name is uh, Jeffrey Skaggs. I'm from Hickory, North Carolina. I've been here pretty much all my life. I've been in the computer since 1993. Uh, right now I have one college degree in it, and I'm finishing up my second degree. I also hold six certifications. Um, could you tell the people what them three degrees is, the two you already got, and then the one that you're working on? Well, the the degree I've got right now is in information systems. The one I'm working towards is computer programming. I could program in um, C, C++, RPG, Visual Basic. And so stuff like, uh, what is it, like, um, what is it, uh, CNET development and stuff like that? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Um, Uh, about your, uh, that, the degree that you're working on right now? The degree I'm working on is computer programming. I lack two classes in it to have it completed. And I'll, um, I have Associate in Applied Science in Computer Programming. I've also uh, had an opportunity to study at the uh, European Organization for Nuclear Research in Geneva, Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And I've uh, been published twice. First one is uh, patriotic work, and the other one is on uh, cloud computing technology. Okay. Uh, so, what age did you get the love for computers? I've had the love of computers ever since I was pretty much 16. I've been blessed to be able to do pretty much anything with them. I can take an older one or a newer one and turn it into a work of art. And that's the way I try to look at my business as artwork, not just as a job. Yeah, I get what you're saying. You're basically telling telling everybody that it ain't just a job because you're creating at right. the same time. I mean, from the programming to the web design to uh, earlier, I heard you mention you can build a computer from scratch, from mm -hmm. scratch basically, ain't you? You saying from yep. scratch? Yeah. So that's art. That's like a man building a car from scratch, buying the engine. Exactly getting other parts. Um, Jeff, what would you say your title and who would you call yourself um, amongst your company? And um, let the people also know when you answer this question what the name of your company is. Okay. My uh, company is Caprica Technologies. Um, I'm the owner, but I'm also the systems architect. I maintain my own computer systems, my own infrastructure, and my own network. Uh, I believe that's important because you, like an artist, you retain professional control. Like, you say you're a rapper, you don't want no one changing your songs, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that gives me the ability to pretty much do what I want and um, be creative at it. Yeah, so you got to say so pretty much on mostly everything that's going on. I mean, I know you ain't going to break no laws or nothing and oh, okay. make a Google, <laughs> but it's, it's it's a competitive field. I I know from my own experience because I go to school for web design, but it's 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 competitive because it the technology you could be working on, somebody else could be working on, and they could get it out before you and get the copyright on it. So, yeah, you're right about that. So, um that you already let us know the name of your company um how did this company come about you know i know you mentioned to me earlier but let the people know how did this company come about because you got a lot of people out here and i know as far as the economy right now a lot of people want to be self-employed a lot of people want to create want to want to make their own money so let the people know how did your company come about what steps did you take and how did you approach it when you when you decided to say i want my own company I pretty much decided I wanted my own company because of Jerome. He's, his love for fitness and being able to train and build people's self-esteem up and be able to basically do what he wants. It's 
his company. He can set his own hours. He can have his vacations when he wants to. Um, more relaxed environment than corporate America. You got that right. Sitting behind <laughs> a cubicle for eight or twelve hours a day is not me. I like to get out and about. <laughs> so uh, I can understand that totally because I'm partly self-employed myself. Um, so as far as you having your own company, uh, especially like these days and times, because we're in a so-called recession, but I don't know if we ever left it, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, so how do you think it is right now for a bit? I mean, just what's your idea, especially coming from your, you know, from your angle? How is people making it as far as, you know, being self-employed right now in this recession? Honestly, as far as being self-employed, I think they have a better opportunity than, like I say, corporate America because it gives them it gives them the ability to get out, meet people, network, and be able to build a personal relationship with their customers and their clients. For instance, like you say, Google, you don't ever see them, or uh, for instance, Best Buy. I mean, you're on the phone with them for hours trying to get your stuff fixed. Tell me about it. <laughs> in the end, it doesn't come back right. Yeah, exactly. And so, you go in the store, and then sometimes you got to find the right person that works with them to really tell you because you mm -hmm. might talk to one person, and they really ain't telling you nothing that's helping you. <laughs> Plus, my price is I'm not out to, to make millions. I'm out to live comfortable. Yeah, I and know exactly what you mean. I'm willing to charge low prices in order to build my rela build my relationship with these individuals and bring you back welcome to um, you welcome to share and let the people know like what some of your particular services with your company. So then that way they know. Okay, we need to get in contact with Jeff because he can do this. So you walk them, let them know what what are all your services right now. Um, my biggest service is uh, web design and web development. Uh, nowadays, every company has a blog or something that lets the customer give feedback. Definitely. And there's always somebody that's out there that has to moderate. It has to go through and check and make sure profanity or nothing that they don't want is being posted. Yeah, filter in there. Filter, <laughs> exactly. So that's one service that I offer. I do do programming for individuals, mostly small businesses though, for like uh, cash register systems, um, presentations. So you set up networks then too? Yes. Okay, that's, that's pretty good right there. What other services you provide? I mean, you can, you walk them to share. Um, we can monitor uh, individual's network, we can perform remote backups on their equipment, we can um, integrate their like phone database with their smartphone or their computer and give them the ability to not just have it on their person but have it on their desktop computer or have it in their office. So y'all upgrade phones and everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's something else <laughs> right there so um as you've been self-employed and in these days and times as a businessman um what would you tell people that's trying to basically get a business off the ground right now or they already got in their mind that they might be in college and they want to do a business they sell what would you share with them that you know gave you your drive to become and get to where you are especially because I mean it ain't easy <laughs> no it's not easy and to be honest with with you anything worth having is not easy you gotta go out there you gotta bust your butt you gotta make the calls you gotta be proactive and in, in your business you just can't sit around and wait for the money to come to you you have to go after it you got that right right there that's, <laughs> that's serious business right there and um, do you got any type of uh, like websites up right now or anything like that that people can go to if they want to just go see and like read about like all your services you provide? I mean, you can tell them the, the web address and everything to let them know. The uh, web address is www.fabricatechnologies.com. Um, 
And you can also, from that site, you can go to my blog. And I've got several other ideas in mind for um, like a, a type of, like a Hickory Daily Record, but an online version, free to the public. It is ad-based, but it also gives the people the ability to get their word out. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 a good thing right there, because you're right. You got to create free platforms because it draws people in, and once you got the traffic coming, you exactly. just you, you start throwing the ads in, and people want to buy space because your website mm -hmm. is getting all the hits and everything. So, um, as far as that, um, you can let the people know basically your your name once again, and let them know your phone number. How they can get in contact with you, and I mean, I know that they can. Um, what is it? Uh, because I want to pronounce this right. <laughs> it's it's Caprine Caprica Caprica Tech Caprica Technologies. Yep. And you can contact Jeff at uh, Skags Caprica Technologies dot com. That's your email, isn't That's it? Email. And the phone number eight two eight six three eight eight seven zero three. And you can contact Jeff Snags. Is that right? Skags. Skags. <laughs> I knew I couldn't get it right. <laughs> no, it's a hard name to pronounce. Trust me, you're, that, you're not the only one. <laughs> but um, I believe this is a good business right here to be in. I mean, because like I got to tell a lot of people this is where they should be um, shooting at. And um, just one more thing I want you to uh, share with the people. Um, just uh, let them know that... Uh, it take drive to do to do what you're doing for one, <laughs> and for two, uh, just let them know. I mean, what could they do like as far as right now in their life if they wanted to approach a business like this? Like just you know you don't have to tell them, give them the, the whole <laughs> blueprint plan, but um, just give them you know a basic little few steps that they could do if they wanted to approach a computer business similar to yours. Um. If you want to approach a computer business, you've got to have the drive. You've got to have the determination. You've got to want it. And a friend of mine once said, don't worry about the money. Do what you love, the money will follow you. And from that right there, do what you love. Don't worry about the money. Because that's, in the end, if you don't like what you're doing, business ain't going to be worth it. It's going to be just another job. Yeah, that make a lot of sense right there. I learned it from drone. <laughs> <laughs> well, today we just interviewed Jeff Skaggs. Because I know <laughs> I know I was gonna mess it up. And he hanging out today with his homeboy General Christ and this is uh under the scope films and we thank you for coming for this interview and uh like I told okay. you people, if y'all need to get in contact with him. I already told you that uh, we're going to say it one more time for you. And it's Skaggs at uh, Caprica Technologies. Caprica Technologies.